Hello everybody, and I'm going to say my time, good morning. It is early a.m. at 5.32 a.m. And I want to thank my subscribers that I already have. And if you'd like to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And hit the like button. And um, my subscribers that I have are just awesome. And um, we're going to start out here with another... Uh, Fed reports manufacturing demand falling as inflation rages. Yeah, the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia reported on Thursday that this manufacturing in its metropolitan area contracted for the second consecutive month even though inflationary pressures are continuing to surge. Demand for the domestic manufactured goods continues to sag as the index for new orders declined in October. Well, people don't have no money. As did the general activity index. The measure of outgoing shipments grew slightly in the last month but remained lower than normal. <clears throat> well, it's understandable. Even though demand is lagging, all the irrelevant infl inflammation Inflation, there I go again with inflammation. <laughs> inflation metrics got worse in the last month and demand for labor grew again. The poor combination is considered at a stagflationary, stagflationary environment, which involves a non typical combination of high inflation and contracting production. I mean, Everybody's going broke. So where does that leave us? The general business activity index approved by 1.2 since last month but remained mired. M-I-R-E-D. My red. My red. In negative territory at minus 8.7 year over year. Economists have projected the index would improve by going up to only minus 5.0, meaning the target was missed by a significant margin. The general activity index has been negative in four of the last five months. The projection for business conditions six months in the future took a concerning turn, dropping from minus 3.9 all the way to minus 14.9. New orders are considered a key index for measuring overall demand for manufactured goods. That metric rose slightly from minus 17.6 in September to minus 15.9 in October. The current outlook for new orders fell substantially with 42.5% of producers saying they expect them to fall over the next six months. After the projection for new orders stood in positive territory last month, at a plus 6.0. It fell in October down to minus 16.7. The index of the wholesale prices charged by manufacturers rose from 29.6 to 30.8 with 40.7 percent of producers reporting they increased their prices in the last month. The index for the cost paid by manufacturers for the production inputs jumped from 29.8 to 36.3, projecting much higher wholesale prices in the near future to offset the increased cost. In the last month, 45.9% of manufacturers said their production costs went up. And that means our money goes down because we will be charged more for whatever we need to order <clears throat> at this time. There is also on Fox News a video about this, uh, if you'd like to uh, go and see it. And um, it's just called Fed Reports Manufacturing. Uh, let me go back up here again. Because if you'd, I'd like you to go look at it if you want to. Fed Reports Manufacturing Demand Falling as Inflation Rages. And it is a newscast. 
Okay, let's get back down here, and it's on Fox News. The measure of employees working in manufacturing increased at 29.1% of businesses. The average hours per week, work week, also rose in the last month. Both employment and prices are expected to continue to rise over the next two quarters, according to the Philadelphia Fed report. The survey that the bank regularly conducts covers manufacturing in eastern Pennsylvania, Delaware, and southern New Jersey. I don't know. I keep saying that. I'm going to quit saying that because I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't. Well, let's jump over here to this one. I'm going to put it up here so I don't get confused. And let's see here. This is to do with Miss Cheney. Cheney's threats to leave GOP if her demands aren't met. Well, don't we know that? She hates Trump. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Reno Rep. Liz Cheney, Republican of Wyoming, who recently lost her primary to a Trump-supporting candidate by shocking 37.4 .4 points, is still trying to dictate the direction of the Republican Party despite her overwhelming lack of support from GOP voters and has threatened to leave the party if her demands aren't met. Whoopee, baby. <laughs> in Wyoming's GOP primary last month, Cheney lost in a landslide to America's first candidate, Harriet Hagman. Despite her failure to attract support from Republican voters, she is still demanding that the party cave to her request. Appearing at the Texas Tribune Festival on Saturday, the outgoing Wyoming Congresswoman threatened to leave the Republican Party if the GOP votes, voters dare to choose former President Donald Trump as their nominee in the 2024 presidential election. You want to know what I got to say? Bye. <laughs> I'm going to make sure Donald Trump, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure he's not the nominee. She told Texas Tribune CEO Evan Smith. And if he's the nominee, I won't be a Republican. Well, Smith went on to ask Cheney if she would consider running for president in 2024 in an effort to prevent Trump from winning a second term. Oh, let's pray not. Oh, my goodness, no. I certainly will do whatever it takes to make sure Donald Trump isn't anywhere close to the Oval Office, she replied. <laughs> Knowing what I know now, I would not have voted for Donald Trump, Cheney added. You know, and this thought did come to my mind, to my head, to my mind, whatever occurred, whatever the right word is there. She sounds like a woman scorned. That ever dawn on any of you? Leave me a comment. See, I can be a devil in my own time. <laughs> the Reno Congresswoman also vowed to take action against another popular GOP candidate, Carrie Lake, who is running for governor of Arizona. But I've got another story on Carrie Lake. <clears throat> yes, I do. <clears throat> and I suppose, you know, you've probably already read it. I would be a little bit leery of Carrie Lake. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure Carrie Lake is not elected, Cheney pledged. Boy, Cheney's a busy little person, isn't she? <laughs> I think we have to do everything we can in 22 to make sure those people don't get elected, she added, referring to Lake and Republican Pennsylvania gubernatorial candidate Doug Mastorino. Well, now, I don't know about Doug Mastorino. I'll have to look that one up for you and see what's going on there. We have to make sure that Mastorino doesn't win. She don't want nobody to win but her, does she? <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
This is ridiculous. Lake responded to Cheney's comments during an interview on Fox News Sunday morning futures, speaking with host Maria Bardi Romo Romo Bardi Romo Maria Bardi Romo. The American first candidate blasted Cheney for going against her own party. That might be the biggest, best gift I've ever received, Lake jokingly said. I mean, the people in Wyoming can't stand her. I'm pretty much sure the people of Arizona don't like Liz Cheney. <laughs> I'm with you there, girl. I'm with you there. But the Republican Party, the new Republican Party, is the party of we, the people. It is no longer the party of warmongers, she added, slamming Cheney. Good for her. Liz Cheney probably should change her voter registration, Lake continued. Turns out she's really a Democrat after all. Lake also blasted Cheney in a post on Twitter, mocking her for her human, humiliating defeat. She's putting more energy into electing Democrats than she did into winning her own primary. Lots of laughs, she tweeted. <laughs> But um, Lake's got quite a story behind her. And um, I don't know why I didn't uh, post it. I had it all, but then I decided against it. Uh, because she has been in trouble. Big trouble. With the law. And uh, I guess I decided maybe it wouldn't be the best at that time. So I will give a little thought to that. And I may post it. Yeah, and you probably already have read it. I know that some of you probably already know what it was. And I, I don't know. It was, I think, when she was younger. But still, it was very, very critical what she was involved in, in my book. But, hey, you know, I'm just a YouTuber. I'm just here. So... I always say, don't judge. You know, that's God's place, not ours. But, um, I'd be a little bit leery. But, um, she's older now. More grown up. More intelligent. And I'm sure the lady learned her lesson. But it will follow her for the rest of her life, and she knows this. But, um... She's putting Cheney down. So, uh, I approve of her for that. Okay, people. I'm going to go for now. I'm not sure if I'll be back this time because it is 5.45 a.m. my time. And I've got a few things I've got to get lined up for tonight's videos. And uh, some things I want to do some research on. So, I will say, uh, God bless. Stay safe you know, and stay healthy. Find my little camera button here, and I'm going to say, I might be back, but I might not. But I'll see you late tonight, or early a.m. tomorrow morning. I never know. <laughs> and you are a blessing.